Hey guys, it's D Money Bala. Today we've got a Raspberry Pi 4 that we just got on Amazon. We're going to be looking at it and trying it out, so I'll let you know what we think. First, we've got to open it though, because it comes in plastic. So we just take our handy dandy scissors and we cut it right open. And we have the pie. This is the Raspberry Pi. It's extra teeny. Um, I think I'm just gonna pull. Oh, open here. There's writing that says open here. So I gotta open here. And there it is. That's the Raspberry Pi, a very small computer. Comes with some instructions and a startup manual. Um, this one I bought came with some heat sinks and a charger. So we've got, it charges by USB-C and we've got a nice little USB-C charger here and an on and off switch. So that's pretty cool. We'll uh, be installing Raspbian on it and we'll have it hooked up to our monitor soon. He goes over the CPU. Like so. And on the CPU. There we go. Cool. So now we're going to put the SD card. Okay, so now that we've got the heat sinks installed, we are going to put our micro, uh, micro SD card on there with Raspbian in. And that's just on the underside of the card. Just flip the little guy in there, and that's in. So that should be able to boot now. We're going to try to boot it up to the monitors. So we got our Raspberry Pi to boot. We put it on our TV, and it's working well with the micro HDMI cord. Uh, we had trouble with the noobs version of it, so we just downloaded the Buster image and formatted it. Uh, we have a 64 gigabyte micro SD card, and if it's above, uh, if it's 64 gigs or above, you have to format it in FAT32, um, and so that's what worked for us. Uh, without it, it wasn't booting up; it would just turn on, uh, but not display anything through the HDMI. So there we go. So we've got it hooked up to two monitors and to our wired internet. It was working wirelessly with our television. We're going to turn it on and just see how long it takes to turn it to boot up. Uh, one, two, three. So about 23 seconds, and our second monitor isn't showing up. Maybe, oh, it's off. That's why it's just turned off. Uh, Raspberry Pi's ability to multitask. We've got the four gig model. Um, we're going to see how well she does with um, Chrome and tabs like that. Just got to resize Chrome so that I can get Chrome here and HTOP uh, just to see how it's handling the memory. We can either use this or system monitor. I'm going to use HTOP just because we can use HTOP and look real nice. So, I wish that would work. Um, we're just going to be watching uh, memory use and CPU usage as we open up lots of Chrome tabs. So 
So we've got four tabs open right now. Um, how much memory are we using? Around half a gig, which is very surprising. Yeah. Um, let's get MSN on there just so that they know we're not hating on them. Um, let's do ESPN, you know, let's open up a lot of tabs, the average workload, work, music, videos, because you can't do work if you're not distracted. And you can see opening all these tabs are um, are using CPUs to initialize the the task and things, but it's not um, using a ton of memory so far. We've got about 700 megabytes of memory in use out of the four gigs that we have, and we've got how many tabs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's a decent amount of tabs. Over here in the side menu, menu you're going to see we've got programming tab if you do the full install of Raspbian. So you've got a Java IDE, another Java IDE, some Node, um, Scratch to play with, Sonic Pi, Python, uh, Wolfgram. You've got a smart sim. You've got Office. Um, so if we were to simulate a workload, we have probably have Office open, maybe even a, a spreadsheet. So got both of those you can do. You've got math. Um, oh, these are really large. You don't need those to be full screened, but they do initialize full screened, I guess. We could just uh, minimize those, I guess. But we've got them up in the background. And you can see with Office, Excel, and math open, we're using a little bit more than one gig of memory is with all of our Chrome tabs. Um, other things you have, you've got uh, Office Base, which is probably a database software thing. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you've got all types of interesting things you can do. LibreOffice Draw, so you can draw things, impress your friends. Um, Internet, it comes with Chromium, a mail, and a VNC viewer. VNC viewer is what I'm using to record this. Um, it comes with a media player installed, so you can play all of your videos locally. Uh, you got an image viewer, some games. It comes with Minecraft and Python games. Um, we got to fire up Minecraft because why not? Because you can. And then we can just do world. And we're just walking around, slicing stuff. Classic, uh, classic, you know, classic Minecraft. I'm gonna get out of it though. Just because that's something we don't really need right now. And you know you've got your accessories, PDF viewers, SD copier, task manager. You can open up a terminal. Um, you can also just do control alt T to open up a terminal. Um, and you see we're only task manager claims we're only using less memory than HTOP is. Um, and our CPU usage is very low right now. We're idling because we're not doing a ton of stuff. But as you can see, it does uh, do pretty decently multitasking. Uh, switching between tasks might take a little second, but um, it's usually pretty good at that. Uh, it's pretty good at moving around stuff. And yeah, it's a Debian-based operating system. So if you needed to, you could install uh, any Linux things you need. I'm just going to check the temperature on all of the things we've been doing just to see what, what, what she's at. She's only at 59 degrees with all of these tasks we've been making her do. So, uh, yeah, really happy with the Raspberry Pi. comes with a lot of uh, things installed if you do the full uh, Raspbian install. So it's always pretty nice. We're just going to see how long it takes to transfer these files over USB 3, uh, the USB 3.0 slot we have. It took about two minutes for my Windows uh, desktop, so we're just going to time this out. Ready, go.
and it's over. It just took two minutes and 34 seconds. That's about 20 seconds longer than it took on Windows, but still has respectable speeds for the Pi. It does have a gigabyte Ethernet connection, so it should be... We have 100 megabytes down here, so it should go full 100. Look at that, it's pulling real fast. And it does upload quite quickly. This gets a little hot when you do that. Not too hot though. Sitting around 65 degrees in the Celsius. That's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Overall, the Raspberry Pi 4 is a great tiny computer. We really enjoy ours. We have some ideas for projects, um, but we would love it if you would comment any project ideas that you guys have in the comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.